Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing DEFCON and DEFCON is a 1980s World War 3 simulator and it's uh, it's very very basic really. I think it's sim very similar to the movie. Has anybody ever watched War Games? Uh, back It's a 1980s movie. I can't remember the name of the uh, the star but he plays in Ferris Bueller's Day Off if anyone has ever watched that film. Very popular movie. But yeah, it says down here, it says it's called Joshua. Right, and it says, do you want to do do you want to play a game? Yeah, it's that sort of thing. So it's a really cool World War Three simulator. All right, so we're going to be playing as America, and we're going to be going up against Russia, I think. And we're going to simulate. So where's Add AI Player? That's the one. Uh, we're going to be up against Russia, and th they'll be known as the Soviet Union at this point. So it's going to be a proper cool, like little World War Three scenario. This is like the first time I've ever played this game, like in, in a while. I know how to play it, but it's the first time I've played it in a good, good long time. So let's just ready up. There we go. So we're up against Russia. So I think we're going to place down now our radars. We've got to strategically put them in the right places. So I have one in Alaska, one there, another one there. We've got to be able to pick up all around America, all around the states, so we can detect any nuclear missiles. And we'll have another one right on the edge there. Awesome. Uh, we're going to be placing our missile silos. I want to try and place them down as quick as I can. Another one there. Another one there. Because we are we have got a time limit, look. Until we run the next DEFCON. And then, in fact, we can press play up there. Let's press play to slow it down just a tiny bit. Now we're going to place our air bases. We're going to have one there. One there. One there. One there. There we go. Right. So before we place down our fleet, so I'm just going to give you a little talk through what this game's about. So we have our cities and they all have a population limit. So you've got New York right there and that's got 22.7 million people as a population. Then we've got Boston up in Massachusetts, we've got Washington DC, our capital, Chicago, Detroit, Denver, San Francisco, Los Angeles, they all have a population limit and it's up to us to defend our country. So this is like a real, real like sort of computer that they'd have back in the 1980s. So it's a really good game. And it is multiplayer as well. It, I currently believe it's on Steam for about £6.99, something like that. So about $10. So if anybody wants to pick it up, I highly recommend it. Really addictive game. And it's really easy to run as well. Run on any computer system. So yeah, anyway, let's place down our fleets. So in the first fleet, I think we're going to have a mix. We're going to have one... Well, if this is an attack fleet, we'll have four battleships. And we'll have two carriers. There we go, there's our first attack fleet. And we're going to have that guy right there. We're going to place him just off the coast of Europe. And then the next fleet we're going to have is going to be off the coast of Los Angeles. So another attack fleet. We'll have three battleships. We'll have two carriers. No, we'll have one carrier and two subs. We'll have that, that just there. So that's a bit of a mix, really. And then we're going to have just some subs, I think, in the next one. And they can be protected by one ship. There we go, because they need sonar to pick up our subs, you see. And the next one we're going to have is going to be another another attack uh, fleet. There we go. So I have another one just there. And we can control these as well, so we're going to direct them in the... Well, I'll direct some up, to, up there off the coast of Russia. I uh, hope we don't bump into any of the enemy fleets, you see. So if we do, we're screwed. But these are attack fleets, and we can use the aeroplanes as well. So as you can see, we have five fighters available, two bombers, and we have four nuclear missiles available on this. So we can, well, yeah. And the bombers, they can uh, drop nuclear missiles. So that's what the bombers are for. So there's different ways you can launch nukes. You can launch nukes from an ICBM, which are these things, which are currently in air defense mode. So these things at the minute are scanning the local area uh, for enemy, enemy nuclear bombs. So if any come into that range, They'll shoot the nuclear bomb before it hits the ground, right? which is what we want. But we can change them as well when we reach DEFCON 1, which is an ICBM launch, which can target any city in Russia. So we're just gonna, I think we're going to wait for them to launch their nukes, and we're going to launch ours at the same time, just to see like the utter destruction. Because it's called MAD, you see, M.A.D, which stands for Mutually Assured Destruction, meaning there'll be no winner in a World War Three scenario. Because each country would apply just as much devastation as the other. 
Right, so we're going to use these guys here. We're going to try and get these just off the coast of Australia. Try and get them into the Indian Ocean. Let's go so we're going to use these to blockade Europe. Because Russia could have a fleet up there, you see. And we don't want that. We'll maybe do another scenario in the future as well, which will consist of all the other countries. So maybe America could have allies in Europe. We could have allies in Asia. And, yeah, we could just do all that way. And you can also have Africa, South America, which I think will probably be a ally of Russia during this time, back in the 80s. Oh, we saw an enemy fleet. So what we're going to do is we're going to engage this enemy fleet now by sending fighter jets. Oh, I don't think we can actually. Oh, we can't yet. We've got to wait until we're in DEFCON 3. Then it's conventional warfare then. So everything seems to be going good at the minute. How many have we got? We've still got a lot of ships left we can deploy. So I have two fighters, two ships there. I have another... Yeah, we'll have some more aircraft carriers and stuff there, which can launch bombers. I will try and deploy them off the coast of New Zealand down here. Is that New Zealand or is that New Zealand? What's that? That's the Philippine Islands, isn't it? Right, so now we're going to go for a carrier, and then the rest can be subs. There we go. So th these are like the nuclear arsenal, which will be down here. Try and keep these together. So we're sending some of them we're going to send into the Indian Ocean to try and take Russia from the south. I think we're going to send some more up north under the protection of yeah, under the protection of these guys. So currently we don't have any nukes up this side. Not really, apart from strategic bombers. Which maybe if we can blockade this sort of area here, then we should be fine because there's no way they're going to have any troops in this part. Any ships, should I say. So let's just make sure these are all on air defense mode. Which they all seem to be at the minute. As soon as we hit DEFCON 3, which is in 3 minutes 43, we will be um, in conventional warfare, so we'll be able to shoot and launch planes at these. So we're just getting a bit of an insight to what we're up against here. We've got two carriers and we've got three battleships right here. So let's speed it up just a tad. Oh, we've also got another fleet there. Lucky for us. Just want to try and watch what they're doing right here. So that's practically all their fleet right here, so we're going to move these up as well. Because this is dangerous right here. It's going to be all out war going on in the ocean. This is the middle of the Atlantic, no, the Pacific Ocean, this. So now we're in DEFCON 3, so now all hell's kicking off. As you can see now, the planes are actually launching from the ships. So we're going to select some fighters, and we're going to take out some fighters. we have launched one to him, another one there. Uh, and it's just going to be a bit of a mix up here. Like I say, it's mad, it's mutually assured destruction. One of our aircraft carriers is under a heavy attack right here. Some more planes on them. We'll get them onto that. Want some more planes over here. If we can rule the ocean, you see, we can get our submarines up and close. Up close and personal. And we do want to try and keep some carriers alive as well, because we need to bomb their airfields. And it would be nice if we can bomb their cities and in and around their uh, radars. Because without a radar, we can launch nukes left, right, and center, and they won't pick them up. But either way, even if we shot every nuke, their defense isn't going to destroy all of them. There's not a chance. I think each nuclear missile carries about 10 nuclear warheads, I believe. Something like that. See, let's have a little look at the battle down here. I really love the style of this game. It's so beautiful. I mean, even though it's just a little, a little silhouette, a little sprite, and it's still amazing. We took quite a lot of casualties up there. We have got some more men coming into play. Right, speed it up just a tad. Right, we're going to launch some planes. At them. We just lost a whole fleet right there. We've got a lot of fighters coming up. But they should be no match for our battleships, right? In fact, we're losing a lot of our fleets right here. Try and keep my submarines safe if I can. Try and keep them out of range as well. Because they've got a lot of my nukes. So now we're in DEFCON 2. It's literally one more DEFCON. As soon as we hit DEFCON 1, that's when the nukes are going to start flying. See, they've concentrated their whole navy right here. But we have got the upper hand on this flank right here then. We can get up close and personal right off the coast of Leningrad and right near Moscow as well, which is their capital, which is home to around 27.0 million. That's a lot of men. Right, we've lost 
a lot of ammo over here. Oh no. You see, they've got the upper hand now on the coast as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch uh, from our uh, from our air bases now. Because they're getting a bit close, we can actually, we're in range. We can launch air um, aeroplanes from our airfields, which is just what we need really. Maybe even try and take out a few of their ships as well. As soon as they get in range of our bomb, we can take out their bombers. Oh, now we're in DEFCON 1. We're just going to slow it down just a tad now. Deselect them. And if you, as you can observe right there, if we press play look, everything is really in real time. They're moving really slow. Oh, I've just lost a plane right there. So this is the 1980s this is based in, judging by the computer. Kind of looks like uh, what, you, what they'd see in the Pentagon on the screen. Let's just speed it up a bit. There we go, they're more in range now, so we can deploy some more fighters and take out these. Probably a bad idea to take them out. We're going to launch a bomber as well. Take out two of them. So speed it up. I think what we're also going to do is, as soon as we've won the seas, we're going to change the unit state of that and change it to ICBM, I think. Ready to launch at a moment's notice. So the second we detect any of the enemy launches, uh, we're going to launch on their uh, nuclear missile silos. We're going to keep the rest of our nuclear missile silos in defense mode. But we've got to watch out for their bombers, because their bombers can destroy them. See, that one now is a triangle, so that means it's ready to launch at any, like, any given notice. So we're going to get some more of our airfields now. And we're just going to... Oh, I think we're out of range there. I should have deployed more airfields closer to the coast. Bit of a bad idea. But we, on the bright side, we have got submarines a bit closer. That's not a good, good sign. They can drop depth, uh, depth charges, I think. And they can take out our subs. So we've done a bit of poor strategy on the Navy here. Either that or they've done good strategy. We're going to return this bomber back to base. These are carrying nukes, you see. And there's no point in putting them up against battleships because they've got a lot of anti-aircraft guns. So we're going to rely completely on the home defences now. From the uh, Russian attacks. Or should I say the Soviet attacks. Every city seems to be in order at the minute. And the air defense is working really well at the minute. Just waiting for a launch. Any one of these, I I have no idea where the uh, enemy silos are or the enemy radar stations. It was up to me to get my... Uh... Oh, there we go. Look, because we've got a couple of aircraft carriers here, we can actually launch some planes and try and discover where their nuclear missile silos are. If I can discover where they are or their radio stations before... I can use my bombers to take out their anti-aircraft and I can use my ICBMs to take out their missile silos. So we do have the whole hand on the uh on the Russian Sea. Which is the is that the North Sea? No, it's not the North Sea. I think England's on the North Sea, isn't it there? In fact that might be the North Sea, I'm not sure. Let's speed this up a tad. See what we're up against. Oh, Yeah, so there's a lot of bombers, a hell of a lot of bombers. And all of our air defence now is on this on the east coast. So they're not effective, they're not going to be proven effective until they're over land. So these fighters can only launch if they're over our land. So our coast is pr practically screwed now. San Francisco, Los Angeles are practically screwed. We've got, we've got a lot of nukes though still in the vicinity of uh, Russia. That, that we've just slipped through them. We're going to move some over to the um, Indian Ocean as well. Let's speed it up full. I hope if we might detect a nuclear launch in a minute, which is pretty scary. That's a hell of a lot of bombers. 
So they're moving off the coast of San Francisco and Los Angeles now. Just as suspected. Not a good sign. So realistically, I think we'd start evacuating troops right now. Like all of our civilians as well. Their bomber's proven ineffective currently. Because of our anti-aircraft. Because I think we're more safe on this side, I'm going to activate this as well for ICBM launch. And also on this side, we're currently going up against fighters, which our uh, aircraft carriers seem to be automatically launching fighters against, which is a good sign. A very well prepared sort of uh, defense, this. And we can, I think we can use our bombers to now uh, move on the. So we're going to fight, we're going to launch a fighter over Leningrad. And we're going to try and scout the area out. Speed it up a bit. The anti aircraft's really kicking in now. Yeah, our fighters are going to prove very ineffective right here. I think we're going to move, continuously move up the, uh, sit the Arctic Ocean, I think. Uh, let's move away from the coast because we're in range of their anti aircraft. See, all that we need to do is find... Oh, good God. Oh, I've got launched ICBMs. Yeah, enemy nukes. I don't know why we didn't detect that. Uh, we have destroyed two of their nukes, so we haven't lost any of our cities yet. It will tell you the casualties of the city. But they have noticed one of our air defences, which I think we are going to lose. I think what we're going to do is we're going to launch ICBMs before it's too late. So where are we going to target? Let's target all of these. So this is it guys. This is mad. Mutually assured destruction right here. Because I don't know where their uh, air defense are either. They might be able to shoot them down beforehand. Oh, Yeah, they've got a direct hit there. We might not even be able to launch a nuke. But at least it's not a city. Cities prove devastating, you see. Right, we're going to launch some fighter jets out of this town right here. Not do I see town out of that airbase right there? Oh, we've got a direct hit, I think. No, no, we don't. We took it out. I think. No, there we go. I have no idea. We've just detonated the nukes. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Oh, we did. We took it out beforehand. So we're we're fine. They didn't actually take out our uh, defences there. So we might actually get some launches off on the enemy cities. It's quite an interesting game, this. Let's speed it up a notch. I want to press play just before the nukes drop, you see. I think they're going to take out one of our radars, is, which is going to really... If they launch more nukes on this site after this radar's took out, I don't think we're going to be able to see them. Yeah. We've managed to lose a silo and a radar. That's not a good thing. We managed to get one nuke launch though before uh, they actually thingied. And the target is Kras Krasnoyarsk. Krasnoyarsk, with only a population of 2.7 million. But who knows? We might be able to take that. And I think we're going to deploy some bombers as well to back it up. So let's launch some bombers, and we're going to aim the bombers for, let's do one for Moscow, one for Leningrad, and we'll do some more bombers, let's launch another bomber for is that Omsk, I don't know how to pronounce it, let's speed it up a notch, and I think we're going to be able to launch some more nukes in a second as well from the... Uh, in fact, we can launch from here. So, Emma, press play. I think we're going to do some direct launches here. So, MRBM launches. We're not in range yet currently. We offer that one. So, let's take out these two cities. Two on that, two on that. Oh, I've just done three on that. Alright, so our, our nuclear submarines now are going to start launching nuclear missiles from the subs. But they're only good for what they're in range of. So, let's speed that up. Uh, 
and we'll do the same again with these. I don't know what's happened to the uh, Soviet Navy. Oh, we managed to launch our nukes. I'm not sure if they're going to hit, though. Oh, we might get one on Leningrad. Oh, I think we're going to have a direct hit. 15.2 million people. Oh, we have detonation. Right, so out of uh, 17 point, so, so many million people, uh, we killed 7.6 million just in that blast. Which leaves a population of 7.6 million left. So I think they'd either be in underground bunkers or in and around the countryside. So they're going to be suffering from a lot of radiation now. And because of the nuclear uh, launches, the planes have now discovered our whereabouts. So I think we're just going to disperse what's left of the nukes on the remainder of the towns. Really blow the crap out of them. Right, there we go. And then when we get these into range... Screw it. It's going to take forever to get around there. I'm going to throw them up to the north, I think. Speed it up. Oh, good. Do we get another direct hit there? I'm not sure. They're too busy dropping depth charges. Got an ICBM launch here. It might hit. Be interesting if it... No, it got took out. It took out the sky. This is a good thing that we're taking out their bombers. Oh, we've got a launch detection from a submarine, right. We can act on this now. Have we got any nuclear... We've got no air bases, have we? Bomber launch. We can launch a bomber over there. Who knows, we might see it peaking. Can we launch an ICBM from here? No, we can't. But we're going to have a pop at the rest of the cities. We've got an ICBM launch there. Oh, we've got another launch. This is where it's going to kick off, guys. So we're going to really get bad here. So I think we're just going to... I'll leave them t that one on defend. And that one on defend, yep. And we're going to launch some nukes from here as well. So that's when Russia pushed the button right there. Russia just pushed the button. The Soviet Union did. So now we just target every city and launch nukes. Some may land, some may not. Oh, we've got another launch detection from a nuclear missile silo, so we're going to launch another one there. Launch two there, actually. Get Leningrad again. More, a couple more in Moscow. Oh, we've got that city there. So I think we've targeted every city now, apart from that city there. We need to target that one. I think we've still got some ICBMs left. So intercontinental ballistic missiles. We're going to leave two in defense mode. Oh, we did lose Los Angeles. So we have a hit on Los Angeles and we've lost 5.1 million. We've got a lot of uh, Soviet ICBMs over here as well. Phoenix is about to get hit. They only have a population of 2.8 million as well. It's a shame really. Oh, oh there we go. Phoenix hit 1.4 million dead. San Francisco 4.7 million. So this is World War 3 right here guys. This is a nuclear war for you. Not really much you can do, is there? Apart from hide. Like, all our ICBMs aren't in use at the minute. Oh, no. As long as they don't take out Washington, D.C., I'm sure we'll be fine. Scary times. Like, we're still launching missiles to try and take these out of the sky. Hopefully we'll get rid of these before they... Oh, Houston hit. Have we even launched any nukes yet? We have. We've got... Two nukes in there, three. Dallas is hit. There goes radar. Chicago's gone. Ouch. Oh, another radar gun. I think we've lost this one. <laughs> we've been annihilated. Chicago gone. Indianapolis. You can see all the nukes landing. Look. Washington DC is fine though. It's a good thing. Our nukes are starting to launch now. I think we're going to launch what's left of the ICBMs before it's too late. 
So let's get someone there. I can see their nuclear bases now as well. See, now they've launched them, you can actually see them. So let's leave. I think that's all of them, isn't it? Let's speed it up again. Oh, no. Come on, Washington, you can do this. Detroit's gone. New York's gone. We've still got Washington. The president's still alive. Oh, oh, please do. I think we're about to lose Washington. Oh, I'm going to put a siren. Siren. Oh, my God. 3.4 million. Oh, it's been hit before. 2.9 million. Oh, there goes the White House. Another 1.7 million gone. There's that. We've lost our capital. The capital of the free world is gone. We've still got a lot of nukes in the air. And we're going to launch some more bombers, I think. Let's really get them out there now. Nothing really much more we can do. Oh, I think we just had a subscriber in the background. Okay, we're going to pull these over. Let's launch some more ICBMs. Same again. Oh, we're out of range. Damn it. So we've still got a lot of subs left. If we can just get them in the Indian Ocean. We've lost a lot of our cities. A lot of cities have been hit. Yeah, nearly every city. 900,000, 9.1 million. Still got a lot of air bases in, in uh, action still, so we're going to speed this up. See if any of our nukes actually land. Got another launch detected, more ICBMs on the way. This is not a good sign, guys. Please hit one at least. Oh, there we go. Gork is hit 2 million. Leningrad, another 3.6 million. Oh, can we hit Moscow? If we can hit Moscow, we can deliver just as much damage as what they delivered to us. Moscow's hit. 3.2 million. There we go. This is just what we needed. We're hitting their cities just as hard as they hit us. Oh, more done. Oh, we've got more ICBMs hitting us. Damn it, there's so many. Just shows the world's nuclear arsenal is just so OP. Not really much we can do these days, is there? Gorky, and again, hit. More hits. They seem to be taking out our nukes now. We're going into defensive mode. We've just got to wait for these subs to get into position and then we'll be able to take out the rest of their cities, I think. Hopefully. We've not got a lot left. See, this is mutually assured destruction right here. There's no winner. Another launch detection. A launch detection near Volgograd. Which is, I think, that's Stalingrad, I think. That's Volvograd, isn't it? Oh, I can't remember. Boom! We just took out the enemy silo, I think. Yeah, hopefully. Come on. Yeah, I think we've just took out another one of their silos. We're doing alright here. Got more nukes coming. I've lost a lot of people. I think the death count's in the millions by now. Absolutely millions. Get my ass kicked really bad on this. Like I say, this is like the first time I've played it in, oh god, years, I think. But I'll be sure to put a link in the description for anybody that wants to buy it. It is a really good game to play, especially when you're bored. Really simple to use as well. Check the uh, range of those. Not quite in range yet. Just going to get a bit closer. I hope we can. Can we even get closer? I hope so. Airbase destroyed. I think we've lost this one, guys. I think the Soviets have won this one. I'm going to have a lot of angry comments saying, Oh my god, you're so bad. The Americans lost. Victory timer has started, yeah. Let's see if we can launch just a few more nukes before the, the uh, time's out. Launch all the nukes on there. So again. 
again. Launch some nukes. They're just getting gunned down now, the nukes are. See them again. Oh, we've got a range of all their towns now as well, look. I think if we just had a few a few more minutes, I think we could have done this. If they could have got into position a bit quicker. We're launching a lot of nukes now. So we're getting some hits right here. Again with these, so we're going to get one of their things. No, nope. I think we can't take out any of them, can we? It's been a bit of a long video today, but I hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway. It's been, I've enjoyed playing it anyway. It's been a good while since I played this, and I might stop playing it more often if I get, let's say, if we get 50 likes, I'll play it again. done for. Absolutely done for. Well, as I say, there's no winner in nuclear war. Bomber launch. Not really much we could do, but we managed to hit the Russian cities anyway, that's the main thing. So, equal devastation, really. Just ignore that scoreboard at the top, you know, just if I, I can hide it. You know, I hate it when it says oh, <laughs> CPU 118, me 33. Game over. Oh dear. Victory to the Soviet Union in this one. But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this one. Do hit that like and subscribe button. Um, if we get 50 likes, I will play it again. But um, it has been a long one, so I'm not sure. So yeah, I will see you all in the next one.